My name's Hal. I'm a clerk at Herbs for Health in Snellville. An antioxidant is something that likes to pair with free radicals. So let's look at free radicals. Free radicals are just a molecule or a group of molecules that have an unattached electron. Antioxidants are substances that the free radicals will bind with more readily than they will bind with your cells in your body, which is a good thing because when they bind with the cells in your body, they damage those cells. You can see evidence of that damage externally. I have an age spot here. That is actually lipofusin. That is fat cells which have been damaged by free radicals. The most common and most desirable place to get antioxidant is in your diet. Green leafy vegetables, fruits, berries, all those things people tell you to eat, it's not just for the vitamins. Some of your vitamins are potent antioxidants also. Your vitamin A, C, and E, those are all antioxidants. Any of the, the colorful vegetables, they're chock full of antioxidants. It's, it's measured in ORAC. I can't tell you which specific antioxidant has the highest ORAC or the lowest ORAC. To some degree, it's deceiving. The ORAC only measures the absolute activity. Antioxidants, I think, are best gotten from your food. They are symbiotic. They work better with a wide variety of antioxidants. Any food can have five, six different groups of antioxidants working for it. If you try to take just specific supplements, you're gonna be taking a lot of pills. It's always best, best gotten from your diet. People in particular that eat a high fat diet, a lot of free radicals are generated by your own body metabolizing fat. More fat, more free, or more free radicals. How to get them from their diet? Probably the most common question. And it's it's a simple, it's simply answered. I mean, just eat colored things. It is certainly possible, uh, unless you have a very specific uh, reason that, that you're taking in or generating massive amounts of free radicals. It is possible to do. It's just not convenient to do. You have to give a lot of thought to your diet. Particularly, I, I'm really fond of one that doesn't have the highest ORAC. It's called um, alpha-lipoic acid. It's fat-soluble and it's water-soluble, both. That's kind of unusual. You like your, your, your vitamins that are antioxidants, A, C, E, A and E, they're fat soluble only, C, water soluble only. Alpha lipoic acid, every cell in your body can use it, even though it's ORAC is not off in the stratosphere. Uh, the most common thing, they're worried about aging. To some degree, they are some protection, not against aging, but they allow you to get old with as little damage as possible to your uh, body. There's still a thing called telomeres. Your, your cells have a limit to how many times they're going to split. Uh, yeah, definitely, just like anything else. Another antioxidant I'll mention is the mineral, uh, selenium. Well, selenium can be toxic if you get too much of it. So yeah, there's definitely an upper limit. Vitamin A, it can be toxic in large doses. That's another reason to try and get it from your diet if you can. It's hard to overdose on kale. I don't know. For example, you see fortify with vitamin D. Well, there's two forms of vitamin D. There's D1, which is cheap and synthetic, and it will do the job, but it's one-sixth as powerful as the vitamin D you, your body makes in the sun, but it's still fortified with vitamin D. No, they're all different. Again, going back to the ORAC, no, there's maybe a factor of 10 difference in, in the strongest ORAC and, and the, the, the smaller ORAC. They have a greater affinity with one group or the other.